Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. Now this time, I've got the Lego Batman Classic TV Series Batmobile. So yes, the 1966 Lego Batmobile. And I think they have done this in another set. I think it was with the 66 Batcave. I could be wrong. But here it is, just the Batmobile on its own. So it comes with Adam West's Batman and the Joker. Who's an actor completely evades me right now. Caesar something, I believe. There's the picture on the back. Obviously, unlike some of the other movie cars I've got, I've got the Ecto-1, I've got the DeLorean. I've currently got them dismantled in a minute. I would like to do a comparison video with them, but I don't have to build three models in order to show you guys what the Batmobile looks like. So here we are. This is the box. Usual nice Lego art and toy depictions. Well, let's look at the contents of the Lego Batmobile. Sticker sheet. I'm a big fan of stickers on things, so I don't know, I might leave the stickers off. I did put the stickers on the Ecto-1, I didn't put the stickers on the DeLorean or any of the other bits and bobs I've got Lego-wise. Obviously the booklet, nice big booklet. How many steps does it say it takes? Five, there we are, five steps. <laughs> I guess they're done in sections. 101 steps. And obviously that includes the um, base as well. Well, bag three, bag one, bag two. No delay. Let's get this Batmobile started. So here we have, in better lighting, I must admit that was the build part of the video, it was getting darker and darker and darker. I did make a few mistakes, I'll admit that. But here we have the 1966 Batmobile, Let's take it off the stand. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to apply the stickers yet. I don't know, it's something I don't do with Lego, I just don't apply the stickers I give, because I don't understand why they just don't stamp them like they have done in the past. 
certain parts. You can get like computer parts, they stamp them, but now they tend to cheap out and give you some stickers. I've got to do it myself, so it looks all wonky. Yeah, not happy about that. And it rolls really nicely. Oh, a bit flying off already. That's the one thing I never really like when playing with Lego. So there we have 1966 Batman Lego Batmobile. They are fantastic. Well, <laughs> the next most iconic one is probably the 1989 one. If they did a smaller one, maybe get that. What I would have liked in this set is if they gave you the Robin instead of the Joker. We know why they didn't do it. They deliberately gave you Batman and the Joker, so you then have to buy another set to get the to get Robin. They'll probably do the Batcopter with the Robin. But there it is. Looking absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoying that. One vehicle we can do a comparison with. Here yeah, is my very dusty Mega Blocks Turtle Wagon. Wow. I didn't realize how big the Turtle Wagon was for Mega Blocks. Um, what I did do is I kept all the Lego pieces from the Lego, which they can fit inside the Mega Blocks Turtle Van. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not letting down Lego too much, but I've got to admit. This is a great Mega Blocks. There's some that Lego didn't do. They didn't do the 80s one. Well, actually, this prepared these sections with the parts of Lego because the, the original Mega Blocks part broke. And if you're in the UK, you can't buy the parts back. Very frustrating. There it is, the Batmobile paired to the Mega Blocks Turtle Wagon, Party Wagon. Oh, well, I'm really impressed. Would have preferred Robin. I like the way you can change out the guns to just plain panels. That's the look you want. But yeah, definitely. This is a, for me, 10 out of 10 Lego vehicle. Really good. I'm sure in the future they'll probably do another one and upgrade it and make it look better. But there you go. What do you think? Make some comments. Uh, don't forget to love, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.